Today the lesson is on histogram. The prior knowledge that we need here is to distinguish between a bar chart and a histogram. So beginning with the bar chart, as the name says, you have bars that are drawn and you have the frequency on the y-axis for a bar chart. For example, let us consider this to be the number of students who like a particular color in a classroom. So if you have the y-axis with the number starting from 0 to 30, so if you want to find the number of students who like red, you just have to read it from the y-axis, which gives you 21. So the frequency, which is the number of students, can be directly taken from the y-axis. Similarly, if it's blue, you have 12, and the green is 16. And for the purple, you have the 5. So this is how you read a bar chart. It's quite easy. You just have to take the data from the y-axis. But this is not the case when it comes to a histogram. You can see that uh, the width of each of these bars in both these diagrams are different. For a bar chart, it's all of uniform width and they have equal distance separating them. So there is a gap. And when it comes to a histogram, you have bars with unequal widths. You can see the width here. They are not the same and they are all connected. So to remember, a bar means it's like the Kit Kat bar that you have the chocolate. Remember that. And for the histogram, you can remember that from the term, the first letter H, you have the two bars and they are connected. So every bar getting connected is another highlight of a histogram, which you don't see in a bar chart. Now the next question is what do you find in the y-axis then if it's not frequency? It is the frequency density that you find on the y-axis. So I'm sure that you have uh, figured out that you cannot find the frequency directly from the y-axis because it is not the frequency that is mentioned uh, in the y-axis, it's the frequency density. So let's see how to find the frequency from a histogram. Now in a histogram, it is the area of each bar that gives the frequency. Now to find the area, let me just put a scale there. On the x-axis, you have the class width and you can see the unequal intervals there. Now to find the frequency, let's consider each bar. Now you can see on the x-axis it is from 6 and 10. So the class width here is 10 minus 6 which is 4. So 4 will be considered as the width and uh, let me consider the height as the length. So from the figure you can see here it's 20, 21, 20, 23. So length is equal to 23. Frequency is equal to the length, the area of those rectangles. So here the width is nothing but the class width and the height or the length is considered as the frequency density. So I can say 23 times 4, which is 92. So 92 is my answer. So 92 is the frequency for this particular group. Now taking the second bar here from 10 to 25. So the width is 25 minus 10. 15 and the height here or the length is going to be 10 and hence my frequency is nothing but the area of each bar so 10 times 15 giving me 150 so let me remind you for the frequency this is the class width that you multiply with the frequency density so from this triangle, let me write it again. Frequency is equal to frequency density times the class width. Uh, so to find the frequency density, you will use F divided by the class width. And to find the class width, you can do F the frequency divided by the frequency density. So you can use these three formula to solve the questions and to complete the graphs. So let's move on to exam style questions from this topic. 
Question 1. During one year, the midday temperatures D degree Celsius and Z fault were recorded. The table shows the results. Complete the histogram to show the information in the table. You have the frequency density on the y-axis and the temperatures recorded on the x. Now what is given in the table is the frequency and uh, you have the class intervals from which you have to find uh, the class width. So I will write the class width here. 10 minus 0, so it's a 10 here. 15 minus 10, so 5. 20 minus 15, again 5. 25 minus 20 is a 5. And 35 minus 25 giving you a 10. So my class width is ready. I have the frequencies. But to plot uh, the y-axis to find the height of each bars, which denotes the frequency density, from the class interval and the frequency given, applying the formula, the frequency density is going to be frequency divided by the class width. I will find the frequency density for each, for each of these class intervals. So F divided by the class width. So 50 divided by 10 giving me a 5. 85 divided by 5 giving me a 17. 100 divided by 5 giving me a 20. 120 divided by 5 giving me a 24. And here it's 10 divided by 10, giving me a 1. So now I have for each class interval the frequency density that need to be plotted. So for 0 to 10, so from 0 to 10, my frequency density is 5. So I will go to the figure. Now for the students who have difficulty finding uh, what does each division stand for? Now you know from here you have 5 marked. Now to know what does each division stand for, just count the total number of uh, small boxes, the tiny boxes or the small divisions that you have between 0 and 5. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes, 10 tiny boxes. So if you want to know what does each each unit here so you just take the total divided by the number of divisions which is 10 divisions or 10 tiny lines that you can find so when you divide it you can see that each tiny box stands for a 0 0.5 i will draw a straight line completing the bar so this area represents the frequency 50 here which is true 5 times 10 giving me 50. now from 10 to 15 it's already marked 17 yes which is 15 16 and 17 it's already marked now here you have a 20 from 15 to 20 so 15 to 20 the frequency density is 20 so where is my 20 it's here Make sure that you use a ruler to get straight lines. I'm trying my best to keep it straight as possible. Twenty to twenty five, twenty to twenty five, you have uh, twenty four. And the last one from 25 to 35, so 25 to 35, you have 1. Yes, now your histogram is completed. Question 2. The incomplete histogram shows information about the heights of a group of children. There were 10 children with heights between 130 cm and 135 cm. How many children had heights between 110 cm and 130 cm? So 
So as you read the question, you can see that there were 10 children. So that is the frequency given, the number of children, with heights between. So you have a class interval from which you can find the class width, which is 135 minus 135. Now going to the histogram, uh, you have 10 children between 130 and 135. So this is 135. And they have said the frequency here is 10. Using this data, the frequency density is going to be F divided by the class width, which is 10 divided by 5, giving you a 2. So here you can mark a 2 there, which means, okay, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. And you have a 3 and finally the 4. So now your y-axis for the frequency density is marked. Now the real question here is how many children had heights between 110 and 130 centimeter? So that's starting from here 110 to 130. Now if you look at the bars, they are all uh, unequal in heights and in widths. So here the class width is from 110 to 120 is the class interval. So the width is going to be 10 and the height is 1. So multiplying these two, you get the frequency is equal to uh, frequency density multiplied by the class width. So you get 10. So you have 10 students here. Uh, between 120 and 130, you can see two bars, so let me mark this as 125. So 120, 125, 135. Here the class width is 5, and again here the class width is 130 minus 125, 5. Looking at the height, uh, the frequency density is 2, and the class width 5. So again you have 10 students which is the frequency and the frequency density 3 class with 5 so 3 times 5 gives you 15 students as the frequency here so answering the question uh, you want the number of students between 110 to 130 so you have to just add these frequencies giving you 10 plus 10 plus 15, which is equal to 35 children. Moving to the second part of the question. There were six children with heights between 135 centimeter and 145. So you have 135 and 145. So this is 145 here. And you have six children. Show this information on the histogram. So to show this, you have the class width here, which is 145 minus 135, giving you a 10. But you don't know the frequency density. Use the formula again, F divided by the class width. You have the frequency 6. 6 divided by the class width 10, you get 0 0.6 as the frequency density. So this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. So from here you draw a straight line and complete the bar. So from 135 to 145 you have 6 children and is represented by this bar. So that's it for the day.